the craziest place I've ever been. Floating mansion. Dude. This is the life of a Bitcoin billionaire. So I've recently began my crypto journey, but it's not going too well. Seta, how much are we down today? About $10,000. Damn, I suck. I wish someone would teach me about crypto. So I posted on my Instagram asking for help when my friend Cody sent me this audio message. Yo, what up, Brett? I saw your Instagram story, man. Rough. Uh, I'm actually out here in Phuket, Thailand, and I'm working with a guy named Kyle Chasse, and he's a Bitcoin billionaire. I feel like if you came out here, maybe you could get some advice. Uh, hope to see you in Phuket, man. Phuket, I'm going to Phuket. After 23 hours of travel, Chris and myself made it here to the lovely Phuket, Thailand. This is by far the farthest that I've ever gone for a single meeting. And now on top of traveling across the world to here to Thailand, we now have to quarantine here in our hotel room for the next day. But we are here on a mission and our mission is simple. Meet up with Kyle and secure the Bitcoin secrets. And also enjoy it bit of Thailand. Just unfortunately, not until after our quarantine is over. Oh, let the quarantine begin, Chris. Get us out of here. <laughs> Tomorrow. Welcome to Phuket. Hey, yo! Oh, no, thank you. Boy, the massage women here, so friendly. <sighs> so after a long day of quarantine, we finally made it out to freedom. And now we are able to explore Phuket. Just unfortunately, we were planning to meet up with Kyle today, but he was too busy to meet with us, so pushed it back another day. But that does leave us with the perfect amount of time to explore the islands, get some food, and even try and find a suit. Yeah, I think you gotta get dressed up for this, uh, this big meeting, right? It's a big deal. International businessman Brett, coming right up. So we just made it here to Best Taylor in Phuket. This is Lucky. Lucky's gonna get us suited up today. You're the best? Yes, I'm the best. Yeah. What you do at home? I'm an international businessman. Oh, that's great. And you? Uh, I am as well. Oh, ooh. I like to sell that. <laughs> I wanna look like that guy. Like that guy, all right. I only need one suit, because yes. I need it for a meeting on Monday yes. here. Uh, how much a suit with that? Uh, I will do pipe shirt and one suit package. I will show you the price. Okay. <laughs> I only need one shirt. So cool, That's pretty man. good, dude. I like it. I'm liking the red a lot, right? A few moments later. We came here for one blazer. Now we're leaving with like 10 shirts, three suits. He's even selling Chris. Very nice. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna, oh. You're a great salesman, man. We gotta bring you back to America. Not really. <laughs> If you really? pay, <laughs> really? He's gonna start taking Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I, if you buy ten suits, I take Bitcoin. Oh, only ten suits. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look only, at this. This guy ten. is just a sales machine. <laughs> only ten, right? <laughs> Lucky. Yeah. Thank All you right. very much. <laughs> Brett Conti, international businessman. It's go time. So today is the day that we get to meet with Kyle. And I think I'm as prepared as one can be. I got the fit, got the ride, and now ready to cruise across the island of Phuket and talk to Kyle about how he became a Bitcoin billionaire. It's go time. We just made it to where Kyle lives, and we met up with the plug. Yo, what up, Cody. bro? It's a little hot here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit hotter than New York City where it's currently snowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Cody, what are you doing here in Thailand? So, we're just out here shooting at uh, Kyle's villa, which is 
pretty amazing. Uh, so I came out here to help him shoot some videos. So uh, we'll go in there and uh, see what the studio is all about. This place is freaking crazy. <laughs> Holy crap. What's up, Kyle? What's up, man? How's it going? Good, good. So we finally meet with Kyle, and he was super welcoming, and even gave us a quick tour of his $40,000 per month villa. You know, I wanted a new suit, but I'm not gonna lie, I got this suit made just to, to come and meet with you. great, actually. I might have to get the same one. <laughs> you should, we should be matching. Where'd you get it? You got it here, right? Yeah, you got, got it at the, at the best tailor in Phuket. Yeah, as for lucky. <laughs> if you buy 10 suits, I take Bitcoin. Oh. Kyle, with someone like yourself who has been so successful with crypto and business, what makes you want to get into YouTube? So most of the, the crypto influencers out there, they, um, they've been in the space for like in between a few months to maybe a few years. Um, I've been in the space for 10 years and I think that, you know, um, I can offer a lot of insight that other people can't. Mm -hmm. And just there's really only so much you can get from having lived through it for so long. And that also gives you a good good gut feeling of where the market is going, how to do due diligence on projects, things like that. And so I just thought I would start sharing my knowledge with people. My, my channel is not monetized in a way that I'm like, making any money, but it will bring value from bringing awareness to the projects that we're supporting. And that helps myself, helps the projects, but also helps the audience quite a bit. I, mean, I wanna ask you why you were so confident early on because you said that you invested pretty much every US dollar that you had into Bitcoin. So was there a catalyst that really sparked and you were like, this is the currency of the future? Or what really gave you that confidence that Bitcoin would be so big 10 years ago? I, I didn't know how big it would become, but I knew that even back then I could still use it. And it just seemed to me like- So you were buying things using Bitcoin back then and you were just like, this is super cool. Yeah, but again, it wasn't like a straight transaction for Bitcoin. Usually I'd have to use some type of third party or medium or go sell Bitcoin for cash when I needed it, you know? After learning a bit more about Kyle's story, he told us how he had to get back to work, but was kind enough to invite us for the following day on his yacht. So right now, Michael and Cody are outside in the van picking us up since we are about to head to the southernmost point of Phuket to get on Kyle's boat. Still unsure of the size of this thing or where we're going to be going, but this should be interesting. Hello! What's up, man? What's up? How are you doing? So we just made it here to the port where we're getting on the boat. And oh my gosh, if this is the boat we're getting on, this is going to be insane. I can't tell if it's the ferry or our boat. The ferry, and I think that's us right there. Cody, this is us? Yeah, this is us, man. This is us? Yeah. We got the boat! All right, this is a nice little jump. I'm going for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, I thought this was the ferry. This thing is huge. Yeah, no, <laughs> this is the uh, this is the one for the day. You see that boat right there? That's coming with us, too. That's, that's just our, like that's our side boat. Side boat. Your boat's not big enough unless you have side, another side, boat exactly. that Take rides with you. Island, yeah. Exactly. So about 45 minutes until Kyle shows up. So it's chilling with the boys. Is this like a typical day working for Kyle? Do you guys just do like crazy things and go on yachts and Yeah, uh, every every Saturday or so this is usually what we do. Yeah, Kyle kind of believes in the work super hard, play super hard life, so Monday to Friday is kind of like ridiculous crypto hours, but then on the weekends we always blow off some steam on like his yacht or some type of thing. <laughs> not a bad job of yet. <laughs> this is a pretty good life right here. Chris, let's manifest this. One day, this is gonna be your boat. Your boat, Brett. Your boat. And I get and, and I get a bedroom, right? This can be yours. <laughs> I'm just gonna need my Bitcoin account to go up a little bit first. <laughs> Dude, how many bedrooms do you think are in this thing? I'm pretty sure there's four for the people who own it, and then they're all. It can also sleep seven crew. This thing is just a floating mansion. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is the game plan. We just left Phuket and have a two-hour ride to Rayleigh Beach, which is one of the most beautiful beaches in all of Thailand. And this gives us plenty of time to get to know Kyle better, have him like us, hopefully become friends, and even uh, make him one of my specialty drinks, loosen him up, and hopefully have him give us some more secrets about Bitcoin. And hey, what's that What's that specialty drink? 
We're gonna make him one of my famous margaritas on the rocks. No one can say no to one of those. This is Operation Secure the Bitcoin Secrets in full motion. All right, so Kyle, I have to be honest with you, I just got into crypto a couple months ago and it hasn't been going too well, to be honest, mm -hmm. where I've been only getting involved in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and I was wondering if you had any recommendations for someone like myself who's just getting into the space to maybe get some momentum and you know see some, some upsides in crypto and some profits because losing money hasn't been too fun. Well, first of all, I think that uh, anybody who comes to the space with a short-term mindset is gonna is probably gonna feel pain. Anybody who wants to come to crypto thinks it's a, a get-rich-quick thing, it's not gonna work. So you have to kind of ride it out. But if you study macro perspective, like the macro, it, it, it's happening, it's, adoption is happening. Like Arizona, Florida, New York, Wyoming, like, El Salvador, right? like these, all these countries and states and local governments and regions and, and these guys are, it's happening. Adoption is happening. So if you just sit and wait, don't get aggressive. Uh, aggressive, it, it, that might be a bad bad move, right? So like, but what you want to do is what I call dollar cost average, which means come, come into the market because I believe that Bitcoin will probably be $10 million in the next 15 years or something. You don't even have to be professional crypto to do this. Work on your retirement, work on your financial freedom, try to accumulate one whole Bitcoin, and then know that in 10 years from now, Bitcoin itself is probably gonna secure your financial future. So instead of buying that latte at Starbucks, instead of doing this, just buy Bitcoin and hold it. Don't try to trade. Trading will get you wrecked. So just stop being, I guess, greedy right now, because it's only been yeah. about three months that yeah. I've been involved. So you think just try and hodl and yeah. hold on, and yeah. hopefully in a couple years that this will really I have mean, good three, progress. Yeah, three months ago things were awesome. You know, like right, yeah. right now. Yeah, so that, that's why I'm down right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle continued to share more advice and even how he makes money today with his companies. And I was surprised to learn that Kyle doesn't trade, nor really ever sell his Bitcoin. Where his company focuses on early stage investing in crypto projects, primarily in games for the metaverse. We then sat down for lunch where I asked Kyle what factors he accredited his success to the most, where he told me it was a combination with knowledge, but also networking. How his first few years in the space, he would spend them traveling every single week to different crypto conferences. This is what made me realize my investment in this crazy trip to meet Kyle was the catalyst to my crypto journey. Then after lunch, we enjoyed some Southeast Asian sun. So we just made it here to this island and I want to ask Kyle his opinion on NFTs. Something that I have been dabbling with a little bit and want to hear if he believes in them and think that they're a good investment and something to be a part of. So let's see if we can get a hold of them. Kyle, so obviously I'm sure you're familiar with NFTs, something that that's all you hear NFTs. about now. I was curious what your thoughts were on NFTs. Do you think someone that's a noob like myself should get involved or do you think unless you have the proper knowledge that you shouldn't waste your money trying to get into it jpegs uh, <laughs> man i don't know this is hard again i think it's it's about how much time you want to dedicate toward it like it depends it really depends on, on the amount of time someone has to spend and if you if your only goal is to flip them then you can make some money doing that you know um but i'm in the ones that are more like board apes and and and, and in-game assets and and metaverse land so okay. do you think having them to have more utility thing or have like a roadmap where there's more than just the JPEG? Yes, of course, absolutely. Yeah, e even in the JPEG things, they should have a roadmap and for future utility and a community that, that, that provides value. The community has to have value if it's just art, if it's just art. But if it's if it's a game asset, if it's a, a, a the team, then you want to go back to the team. Can the team execute this? Have they built games before? Have Do they have experience? Like this grandiose picture that they're painting of this metaverse that we're all, the Ready Player One vision that we, that, that everyone's kind of alluding to. And if you believe that they can, then maybe it's a good idea to try to buy some of the land in the metaverse for very cheap in a very good location, because maybe it's the future Times Square. I think that helps answer my question a lot. I feel like 
I personally believe that NFT is going to be so huge in the future yeah. because you can actually prove that you have ownership of something. So how people want to incorporate that into business or projects, I'm really excited to see where the future in it goes. And I think that NFTs will be more popular in the future. Yeah, I talked about this on a video recently that only 3 million people have actually ever purchased an NFT. 3 million. There's 8 billion people on the planet already going mania. Imagine when it actually goes mania. It's gonna actually explode. Um, everybody's doing it. Lay's potato chips, Coca-Cola, Adidas, Nike, Snoop Dogg, this guy, that guy, everybody's doing it. Okay, that's my two cents. <laughs> I really cannot believe how cool Kyle was. He did not have to welcome us on his boat and hang out with his friends and share so much knowledge about crypto, but he does just really seem like a genuine guy. Kyle and I were bonding over YouTube, video making, and he even said that he has a YouTube channel with over 30,000 subscribers. Yeah, and didn't he make a video about like one of these like sleeper coins and it basically went up 50% overnight? Yeah, <laughs> so he does a lot of videos on all these altcoins and a lot of other things that I don't know about, but it's cool that he shares all this knowledge for free on YouTube. It's one of the best things about the YouTube community. And now he invited us to dinner tonight, so we are about to head up north to Phuket and catch a, a last meal with the guy and hopefully get some more knowledge out of him before we <laughs> are off for our next destination. What's up, boys? How you doing? Yo, what up, bro? Good to see you. Reception. Not a bad you, spot. Yeah, to eat a, right here. Pretty good view here. Now I see why you guys like living here. <laughs> you get a great a boss, life. get to go on yachts, and you we get tan to eat. a little bit. It's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, and drink mojitos. <laughs> and get views like this. I have to join you guys. I'll come work for Kyle. What's, What's up, up, Kyle? How's it going? Good. Good to see you again. Hey, Kyle. I know this is going to be the last night I have you here, so I was wondering if I could just ask you some questions about Bitcoin, since. I personally don't have too much in crypto. How much are we down today? About $10,000. But I still kind of feel a little unsafe with it where I don't know if my money is secured. So someone like yourself who has a lot more money in their account than I do, do you feel safe having so much money in your crypto wallet? Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty spread out. So you definitely you definitely don't want to keep it all in one wallet. That would be very stupid. No matter how secure a wallet might be, there's still risk of, of, of a hack. I mean, hardware wallets are the most safe and secure. Something like MetaMask or something is going to be less secure. I have my money in MetaMask. Should I get it out of there? Well, you can use the, you can also use MetaMask with Trezor or Ledger. So a majority of my wealth is in a hardware wallet okay. or wallets. So you feel... Yeah, I feel, feel very good. secure, yeah. What do your parents think about what you're doing? Because when I tell my parents like to, you know, memorize my, my seed phrase for my wallets, they're like, what are you doing? Are you selling drugs? So do your parents understand and comprehend what you do in cryptocurrency? How much knowledge do they have in, in crypto? My mom got into Bitcoin, I think in 2015 or so. She converted her... Uh, her Roth IRA, her basically her retirement accounts, all in a Bitcoin through Fidelity. What? Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, <laughs> the smart mom. I was in California, I went to my parents, both of them, and said like, you guys have to go buy Bitcoin right now, like urgently. They know that I've been in crypto for, since I've been doing it for a long time. You know, I used to have a, a Bitcoin lottery in 2013, 14, so they know that I'm in crypto, but what I do exactly, I don't know if they really know. Like, I mean, I, I yeah, I've told them. I basically, I'm like a white combinator or something. I'm help people who want to create crypto projects go to market. You know, yeah. so that's the easiest way to explain a very, very complex mm -hmm. company structure. All right, we're gonna pause the interview. For dinner is served. Look at that. Okay, Kyle, my last question for you is, so back in 2012, 2013, when you first got into Bitcoin, you put everything you had into it and you were so confident. Are you just as confident today that in another 10 years, it'll have even more exponential growth? Yeah. Actually, I wasn't so confident back then. I just, <laughs> I just, I just, <laughs> like, I was, I, I tell people I was 50% confident in the fact that it would become a world reserve currency. I was, I was 80 or 90% confident that it would have a use in the world. But today, I'm way more confident than I was back then that it will become an actual world reserve 
currency, a store, world reserve store of value. I'm 99.9% .9 sure today that it will become something that every country has in its balance sheet, every big institution, every, every investment firm, everyone will have Bitcoin as part of their portfolio probably the next even five years, maybe 10 years max. Thank you for that. And now for our food gets cold, I say, let's, let's eat. eat. Kyle, <laughs> thank you again for all the knowledge, man. My pleasure, yes. Really appreciate you. Bon appetit. So Kyle explained to me how his company is essentially an investment fund for early stage crypto projects, from games in the metaverse to NFTs to other projects with tokenomics. Kyle's firm sifts through the ones they believe in and provide funding as well as Kyle's guidance and consulting on the project. Between Kyle's early investment of $50,000 in Bitcoin back in 2012 and his current business, this has made Kyle gain assets worth over a billion dollars. After traveling across the planet and and seeing Kyle's confidence in crypto, it inspired me to learn and network more within the space. And how even though I may be down right now with my portfolio, if crypto is something I do believe in and not just trying to make a quick buck, then I shouldn't be worried about the right now but rather thinking about its potential future. This crazy trip to Thailand to meet him was worth every penny to learn from someone so knowledgeable within the space. When you show interest, it leads to knowledge, which leads to passion. And once you have passion, you can chase any fortune no matter how ambitious. I do want to give a huge thanks to Kyle for taking the time out of his busy schedule and welcoming me like he did. He does have a YouTube channel where he shares all of this information and the life of a Bitcoin billionaire. So if you guys are interested in crypto, definitely go make sure to subscribe to his channel. All right, see you next week.